Hey everybody, I just had this little baby born about two days ago and I wanted to show you something real interesting. He was born, or she, was born with a fused toe. Uh, the other foot is just fine, but for whatever reason, these two toes here, they didn't separate. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. You may occasionally get a little webbed foot baby and it isn't the end of the world, but as you can see, oh calm down. As you can see, it's bending its poor little toes to the side, and that could eventually cripple your poor baby. So we're going to fix that now. And real quick, I of course need to make the disclaimer that I am not a veterinarian. I started off doing veterinary medicine in school, but I uh, later switched to something else. I'm doing this procedure for the health of my chick. It is very simple, but there is a risk that if you're not careful, you can do some harm to this poor thing. I know exactly what I'm doing, so don't worry. The materials that you're going to need for this procedure are some very sharp scissors. Uh, you could perhaps use an X-Acto knife if you wanted to go that far. You'd have to put the foot on something hard, which I'm not going to do. Um, and you will need to disinfect it, of course, with some plain rubbing alcohol. This is 70%. I probably have 91% somewhere, but this is going to do just fine. And since he is going to be going back in with the other chicks, I've got some triple antibiotic, you know, just as a precaution. And I also have paper towels. This is in case there is any bleeding. I don't foresee there being too much bleeding because he's so young and that webbing is really thin, but we will see. So here you go. Get a good look. Pull his foot out here. Now, this guy's probably going to squeak. It's I'm sure that it's not going to feel great, uh, me cutting into its skin. But this is a procedure that is going to help this chicken live a much better life when it gets older. And since it's so young, it won't have to worry about its toes setting in these in this sort of curved position. I'm going to get this really clean, uh, try to keep it in frame for you at the same time, get under those toenails, and now, come on, calm down. All right, I'm going to do my scissors. And I have, it's okay, it's okay. I'm not hurting him, he just doesn't like to be held like this. I haven't cut yet, baby. Calm down. Now that these are good and sanitized, I have this waiting for me, for if it bleeds. And I'm gonna try and keep this in frame so that you can see what I'm gonna do. Now, now, now that I've touched the other foot, better do the other foot because I have to touch it. You have some very clean feet. Like I said, don't worry about his squeaking. I'm not hurting him. He's okay. He just doesn't like to be handled. At least not like this. Calm down. So then you'll never have to do this again. Never. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at his feet. His other foot's going to give me a good guide on how far to cut. And it looks like the way his knuckle is here, I'm only going to cut to about that knuckle. And to about this second, this knuckle here too. So if I can get him to cooperate, I'm only going to cut to about right here. And I'm going to try and do it real quick. And like I said, he's going to squeak. He's not going to like me doing this. I'm going to try not to cut his toe off. <laughs> you do not want to cut their toe off. I'm going to try and do it in one clip so that it's over with very quickly. But I have to be sure he doesn't... It doesn't move when I do it too. All right, and I've got it here so that it is not going to t hurt his toes. Calm down, and real fast. Done. It doesn't look like there's too much blood at all. I'm gonna stick that in there. I'm gonna hold it. He actually, 
he didn't trill at all, so it doesn't seem like it hurt him. Uh, what I'm hoping is, okay, it's probably burning a little bit. As you can see that webbing there, oh, there's a little bit of blood. See a little bit of blood? Whoops, that's about all you're going to get. And I definitely need to stop this bleeding before I put the chick back with the others. It is uh, in with quail, so it's not quite as much of an issue. But I'm afraid that if they see the red, they may start pecking at his little foot, and that would be bad. Let me get another paper towel. Sorry about that. I'm just going to hold pressure on this until it stops, just like any other cut. It's going to take a little while to stop bleeding, it looks like. There are a lot of capillaries in these little feet. Alright, I'm back with him, and it's bleeding a little bit more than I thought, but it's still okay. What I'm going to do, now, calm down, is I'm going to take some of this cornstarch, and I'm going to rub it into those wounds there, and hopefully that'll help it clot a little bit. Let's hold that cornstarch on there. And then when it's done, we'll take it off. <laughs> you gonna peck at it? I know that hurts, doesn't it? Oh yeah, that looks like it's working really well. Oh, I'm making a mess. It's okay. Okay, one side of it stopped. The other side's still going though. I definitely have to make sure to stop this blood before I put him back with the rest. Does that toe hurt? Does it? Does that toe hurt, little baby? Okay. I think it is just about stopped now. It might ooze a little bit for a while. I did. I did cut some skin, and he's going to be stretching that. He's going to be stretching that. It's going to have to reweb itself a little bit. It's not going to match the other foot quite as well, but definitely, it's going to be a lot better for him. Oh, now we're all finished. As you can see, he's no worse for the wear. And that toe right there, that middle toe, that's going to straighten out, and the webbing will stretch out. It's probably going to bleed a little bit. I'm going to have to keep a really close eye on it and uh, make sure the other chick the other chicks aren't picking at him because of this red and now this little chick is going to be able to walk perfectly fine so i decided upon looking at the cage that the other chicks are in that is only uh, about a day old i cleaned it yesterday that i'm going to actually put a band-aid around this foot to protect it from any of the manure on the ground. He's not going to be able to take it off as small as he is, and it will hide any bleeding from the baby, from the other babies, and it will help me to keep this antibiotic cream on his foot for a couple of days. After a couple of days, I'll probably take the band-aids off. Of course, I'll change it once a day, and he'll be able to walk around fine. For a little while, he's gonna be limpy anyway, but it's okay. All in due time, little guy. He's. He's peeping because he's getting cold. But we'll be done in a minute. There we go. Ha ha! I got it, finally. And I'm just going to... wrap it on over. Nothing fancy. It may, in fact, fall off later. But now he's at least protected, for the most part, from too much of the dirt. I worry a little bit that the stickiness here is going to be a problem. Like it may stick to the wound, but we will see. I'll take it off real easy. Can you walk? Alright, let's see if you can walk with this band-aid on. How are you doing? Can you walk? Can you come here? Oh goodness, you're doing fine. There we go. Yeah, there we go. You want to go back with your buddies? Okay. 
All right, thank you very much for watching. I hope that this helps some people if they ever have a chick born with a, with a webbed foot or webbed toe, rather. Uh, usually only happens to two toes, but sometimes it can happen to a whole foot. And that's no reason to cull your chick. Just, you know, do a simple little procedure. It doesn't hurt them. It isn't the end of the world. Uh, the chick isn't going to die from it, but it is good if you can do this procedure so that the toes spread out properly and you don't end up with a lame chick or, or well, a lame chicken later on in life.